Oops. Right. There's there's two ways you can go about it. Now, it does depend on the bear. If you think you can manage it, the best way to do it would be to very carefully unpick a seam on your bear, remove his stuffing and his growler, if he has a growler, remove his stuffing gently, wash his skin and then restuff him. That will help. If you can't do that, then I suggest you use something like makeup wipes or baby wipe to get most of the chapstick off because it's really just a very thick grease. So you'll find that, you know, makeup wipes will do quite a good job. Just kind of get as much off as you can. And then you'll end up with a very well moisturised bear. Um, he won't have eczema, that's for sure. Um, but once you've got as much as you can off, personally, I'd start with two packets, one of something like makeup wipes, because they're slightly oily to dissolve makeup and heavy grease, which would do quite well. And then something like baby wipes, which are not oily because they're pretty much water based to get the makeup wipes off, because often this is a three stage process. Once you've got most of it then off, then he needs a nice hot sponge bath. So sit him on a nice, comfortable towel. Keep him warm. Obviously, you don't want your bear getting cold. Have a bowl full of nice warm soapy water and, and give him a wash and wash a bit of him, you know, and then take him dry. And maybe, it depend, again, it depends on his fur, but wash him. If he's very fluffy, don't do that because you'll tangle his fur. Wash him like that and then dry him like that because you don't want him catching a cold. And then maybe use a slicker brush to fluff him up and work all your way over him until he's a lovely, clean and fluffy bear. Um, and obviously keep him well wrapped up the bits you're not washing so that you preserve his modesty.